the re brain rewards us for serving. So let's say that you performed an act of kindness, of service for your partner. Say you unexpectedly, you cleaned their windscreen or you made them a cup of tea. That would boost their well-being, sure. But guess what? It would boost your happiness 50% more than theirs. The gift is in the giving. Now, that's no excuse to go home and tell your partner how much happier she would be if she made you a cup of tea. <laughs> but the gift truly is in the giving. What about our health? Well, Harvard psychologists ask people two questions. Number one, how much stress have you experienced in the last year? And number two, how much time do you spend helping others? First, the bad news. Those who experienced a major stressor, say bankruptcy, divorce, increased their chance of dying by 50%. Now the good news. Hold, hold on. <laughs> there is some good news here. Is that those who regularly help others experienced no increased chance of dying. Those who regularly helped others experienced no increased chance of dying. And scientists think that it's got to do with a chemical in the brain called oxytocin. Now oxytocin is known as the cuddle chemical. It creates that lovely warm bond between a mother and its baby. It's actually emitted in mother's milk. But oxytocin also is the chemical that drives compassion and kindness and service and drives that warm, cuddly feeling that we all get. In fact, it's one of the keys to happiness. Now, if you want to get the oxytocin flowing, you don't need to look for a breastfeeding mother. All you need to do is help someone or be helped by someone, connect with someone, be compassionate, give someone a hug, and you get that oxytocin flowing. Don't try to be successful. Be valuable and success will follow. This is the power of giving. This is really the fundamental law of influence. The best way to get is to give. Unfortunately, many people hear that is the best way to get is to give as little as possible. If you want to get more, you need to give more. Don't you love that expression? That's not my job. No, it's not your job, but it could be your opportunity. Do you know that people who serve beyond the call of duty are 40% more likely to be promoted over the next two years than those who say, that's not my job? More than that, they're 10 times more engaged. They're having more fun. Is it fun coming in to work each day trying to do as little as possible and take as much as possible? Is that, forget about whether it's an external success strategy. Is it a personal success strategy? Is that a way to boost your well-being? Well, clearly, what the science shows us is no. When you serve others, you serve yourself. It comes right back at you. It's such a beautiful thing. If you want success, just bring value into the world. Bring value to your colleague. Bring value to your client. Be invaluable. And there will always be a place for you. Always.